Oil industry professionals and environmental groups attended a tour of the 1979 Pinewood Pipeline spill site today. Jamil Donath explains how the site has been used to conduct research about oil spills and their impacts on the environment. In August of 1979, a pipeline running through Pinewood burst, releasing 450,000 gallons of crude oil right here at this site. We drilled a well upgrading. More than 30 years later, U.S. Geological Survey officials are conducting a tour of this historic site, which has been used to study the long-term after effects of oil spills. About 75 percent of what was spilled was taken out at the time. And so the remaining 25% of that oil uh, is still in the ground. Among oil industry workers, Minnesota 350, the Sierra Club, and the Indigenous Environmental Network attended the oil spill symposium to raise questions about the study findings. The Sierra Club is concerned about the effects that toxic spills like this one here in Pinewood could have on people and communities. We need to really be concerned about this. and. Um, more people need to be aware of that the site is here. Researchers have been collecting data here at the rupture site of the Pinewood spill for about 30 years. And what they're doing is collecting data to figure out how to better handle a spill that might happen in the future. We can focus our cleanup efforts and our limited resources for cleaning up all the many spills that are inevitably going to happen. The environmental groups are concerned that this study might mislead people to thinking that it's safe to leave oil in the ground from spills. We realize that, you know, no people were killed or uh, harm that we know of in this spill, but what would happen if something like this happened in a major urban area? But for anyone who knows the disaster of the 79 pipeline oil spill, whether Enbridge or environmental advocates, no one wants to see history repeat itself. Jamil Donath, Lakeland News. The oil spill research site is a collaboration between USGS, Enbridge Energy, Minnesota Pollution Control Agency, and Beltrami County. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.